guys, General Malice here, and in one of my favorite spots that I go to almost daily, uh, Half Price Books. And man, whenever you're inside some of these places, you actually get to meet some of the coolest people. And you know how we love to support uh, local artists and uh, people who are in the crafts. And definitely one of these people that we met here is Vicky. So hi, Vicky. Hi, how uh, are you? She has a book that she just came out with, with Rebel Without a Bra. And definitely it's a story she said set in the 80s uh, about some of her endeavors in, south of the border in Mexico. In Mexico. So Vicki, uh, definitely what brings you here today and tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I was a school teacher and I taught the migrant students down on the border between Mexico and the United States. I taught them English and uh, I went into Mexico quite a lot and I met a whole bunch of really wild people that had some fantastic stories and so I put them all in one book and that's it. That sounds awesome. Um, if you want, go ahead and plug a uh, website, Instagram the or website anywhere they can check the out. Book. It's called uh, rebelotheuniverse.com uh, and um, it, there's going to be a second and third book. Um, they, they'll, they'll continue to follow uh, the story of uh, Jenny Rikas who is the main character in the book and um, the front cover is my great niece and so we keep it in the family awesome. so she's uh, she, she's she's a very pretty girl so it, it, she added to the, the flavor of the book well, definitely and then you also have got great awesome shirts here supporting I got the shirts from uh, the people that do chewies Ooh, okay. I, yeah, like I really like their shirts, and so I thought, well, I'll, I'll go to their artist. And so they're the ones that uh, created this. Um, I wish I remembered the name of the, their, uh, but the people that do Chewy's, and the, so the shirts are really cool. I really like them. And uh, I'm wearing one myself. And I've washed it a couple times, and it doesn't shrink, so it's a good shirt. Definitely. And if you're not familiar, guys, Chewy's is a uh, multi-state uh, Tex-Mex restaurant that's all over the south, from Texas to Florida, all the way up north. They have 28 states that they are a part of. Uh, definitely. They were sold in 2009. Uh, it was a privately owned. Uh, it was a cool company. I actually they started used to work on Barton Springs Boulevard. The original Chewy's yep. was on Barton Springs Boulevard. That's the only one I really liked. Yeah. <laughs> I, I actually still like going to Hula Hut quite a bit because yeah. they still own that one. Um, but, man, definitely, we picked up a shirt. We picked up a, uh, a book for Miss Malice. So Miss Malice is going to have a book till she loves reading. She's going to put it in her library. And so we appreciate it very much. And we'll put your uh, information in our post down below. And uh, we'll see if we can get some uh, people to come see your uh, your book and read it. So thank you thank very you much, so much, Vicki, for, for sharing your time with us today. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so they got their glass case fixed. So let's see what they got today. Shadow Heart Convenience. So let's see what that is. Space Harrier. In here. Oh, I'm with me, my boy Aiden. Say hi, Aiden. Howdy. Hey, it's a PS5 game. Haven't seen that in the stitch yet. Let's see. Oh, PS5. Uh, is this sealed? No. Okay. Anything down below. So I'm sorry, I checked those other ones. Ooh, there's some Rock Band 4s, but I think they're pretty expensive here. Yeah, $7.99. I think Rock Band 4 sells for $14. So, I mean, those have potential. So we'll pull those to the side as well. We'll check them out. 
<sighs> was there anything else that I saw? Yeah. Clearance stuff. You know, you never know how much this clearance stuff goes for. I have to check a couple of these things out. Uh, so let me check out some of these stuff that we've got going over here. And uh, I'll tell you what I found. And my boy Aiden over here finding stuff. Put it on the counter. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, if you, if you get to pay three, that'd be awesome. That's what she paid. That's That makes way more sense. That makes way more sense. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, look at these Pokemon Tournament fighting pads. Why? Did you scan them? Yep. Oh, okay. That's all good. That's all good. Well, we get to support some really cool artists though. Oops, sorry. Go ahead and put that stuff back for me. All right, guys. So this is another cool spot that I like to go to. I come here for records, but they do take in some video games sometimes. So they will have a stack in a small section. So I'm coming here to see if they have some vinyls that I came out two weeks ago that I really want. And they are called Piranha Records. So let's check it out. Oh man, this case. If I replace it, how much for the case? A little pricey, not too. A little bit, <laughs> not too bad, but it's not out of the question. I have a PlayStation room sure. that's all PlayStation, and I have kiosks and all that stuff, but I don't have an official case. Um, quick question though, two weeks ago, uh, Mondu put out a record for Silent Hill 3 and Silent Hill 4 LPs. Didn't know by chance that y'all happened to have gotten those. From Mondo released about two weeks ago? No, I don't think so, but the one section of the video. All the video games are right here. And right there. Yes, sir. Yeah, it would have been Silent Hill 3 and 4. Mondo put them out about two weeks ago, but I missed the drop. It sold out in like 30 minutes. We do not have any. Dang. Do y'all get stuff from Mondo like that? Or uh, just... They do, yes. Um, it just, it's even harder for us to order. 
because they prioritize the customers on their website first. Okay. And then their if there's uh, leftover exactly. or stock. So we get we miss out on a lot of it, unfortunately. That sucks. Yeah, no, I, I want to get a lot of it too. Well, cool. I appreciate, it, man. It's good to know. Alright guys, so check it out. We just left Piranha Records and I let my boy search around, see if he can find any heat. He said he didn't find nothing. Dad, I don't find nothing. There's nothing here. So I let him look, I let him look, and I did my thing. And then uh, you're going to see in the video, there is a PlayStation 2 official case in there. He said $1,000 and I knew he was joking. But if I come back at him with a pretty hard sell, I'm going to get that case. Mark my words, I'm getting that case. <laughs> I'm getting that case. It's going to be mine. So let me show you how I'm going to get that case. I'm going to pay him back with his own money. All right? With the stuff that, that came from his store. That's what I'm going to do. That's going to be my goal. I'm going to get this case, and I'm going to use it by getting stuff that he bought. I buy from his store and coming back and then going out and reselling it so I can get what he wants, which is money for that case. So let's start off with the first couple things is I picked up these two Super Nintendo uh, blue cases that are, are splashed two bucks a piece. I know that seems kind of high But I know I can get five Maybe even a little bit more for them because they're cool and people like this stuff And if you have really good games and you can't display them in a certain thing you put them in this So these are cool. So that's expected value like ten bucks Now there was a crap load of Sega stuff. I can't believe my homie didn't even see it So he shot it all down and when I saw the prices I was like you're smoking you're smoking something because we'll start off with I'm gonna keep some and then I'm gonna I'm gonna sell the rest of them. So four copies of Sonic 2. Four copies of Sonic 2. Alright, at two bucks a piece. So four copies of Sonic 2 at two bucks a piece. They sell for seven plus shipping. So it's a triple up on each one. Minimum. Fourth quarter comes around though, they're gonna sell for even more. You gotta remember this is like the Super Mario 3 of Sonic, so it's going to sell well. So those right there, so we got 10, so let's say 7, 14, 21, 28, so that's it's close to 40 bucks in profit right there. I spent $41. So if I just sell those, I can keep everything else. So Eternal Champions, $1 Sega game. I mean, even if I get 5, 6 bucks for it, Plus shipping. I don't. I didn't check the comp, but it's a dollar. It's Eternal Champions. It's a good fighting game for Sega. Then the second most expensive Sega game I bought was Animaniacs for four bucks. One I didn't have it, so I won it. So Animaniacs is staying with me. But for four bucks, that's not a bad buy for a cart. And then last of the Sega, last of the Sega stuff, we got Sonic Classics. This was $7 and includes three great Sonic games. But for seven bucks, I think they sell for like 10, 12. I wanted it for the collection, so I went in and picked it up. So, so that's the Sonic stuff. Oh, there was one more. Young Indiana Jones for $2. It's an Indiana Jones game. It's an Indiana Jones game for two bucks. $2. How do you miss all that? Now, stuff that just you gotta can't pass up on. 
you've got a NBA showdown, in, in, complete in box, complete in box for $3. That's a $10 bill on it. Eat minimum. I didn't even check the comp. Okay, it's $3. The box is worth more than three bucks. Someone's gonna want it. It's not even a bad box. Dude, the box looks pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect, but for $3, for $3, for $3, you're gonna pick it up. Now, I couldn't believe these. Oh, what's really dope is this place, they give you these little round to it. It's a dollar off. They're coupons, basically, and you get dollars off your items. So I save them up, you trade them in, and you get free stuff. So for every twenty dollars you spend, you get one. So it's always it's you're getting ten percent back no matter what. And I keep looking over here; it's the camera's right there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> keep looking at myself because I'm so pretty. <laughs> all right, so put this back in there. Put that back in there. Put all these games that you know my son said no there ain't no games dad there ain't no games and so you hold all that now check out this last stuff guys i've never er owned a cdi but i know they exist and guess what i found there not one not two four cdi games and they were a dollar to two bucks a piece so we got CDI shooting. And it looks pretty dope, CDI shooting. And I don't know what complete means for these. I've never opened one. But look at these CDI Whoa. cases, dude. Like they got all the, oh shoot. They got all their stuff in it. They're complete. I mean a dollar, two bucks. And you didn't find anything? My eyes must have been closed the whole time. <laughs> so, shooting. Video Speedway, which it looks like F1 racing or pole position right here, but better. Then we got Mystic Midway Rust, Rest in Peace, a horror skill game. And then last, but not least, Dade Stewart and Dennis Eckerson. Eckersley, sorry. Uh, power hitter. So a baseball game for the CDI. Guys, I haven't pulled comps. Where's your phone? Let's check one real quick. We'll check the uh, the Mystic Midway. See what the comp says. So we will pull up, take a look. The Point your camera at the barcode. That shouldn't matter. Shouldn't matter. Fine, we'll look at a different one. We'll look at Speedway. I don't think your thing scans, bro. Dude, you're on the card, dude. Oh, that's not what it is? I'm on the wrong one? There, it just scanned. What? It just scanned. Oh, did it? <laughs> yeah. So, Big Box CDI sold for $15 with $4 shipping. So... That was in July. So that's right there. I mean, yeah, for sure. Do the next one. Make it, what kind of torture is this? I mean, can you see where everything he missed? How's he gonna learn? It's not scanning. Okay, that one's not scanning? All right, so we'll do CD put. No sales on that one, that's okay, no solds. And this one sold for about seven bucks plus shipping. Seven bucks plus shipping in June. So I mean, guys, two bucks, fifteen. I'll take it every day. So that's Piranha Records. Let's see what else we can find in this. What we got left for the day. All right, guys. So we are at my second favorite place. Uh, this is one of my honey holes. This National Pond and Jewelry. Let's go inside and check it out.
Sims 2, the game set, Carnival. Plugged it in, testing it out. The system's on. It's not giving any flashing lights. Seems like it's all right. See if it shuts down. It shuts down. So yeah. Good try. I think we're ready, man. I think we're gonna. See what, what, what else came with this, whatever the controllers or stuff with wires, and then I'll take this today. Oh, no, that's all that came with No, this one. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, man. It's so good. To me, it's almost out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Today's video will Ray give us a big enough discount or he embarrass himself in the whole store? We'll find out next. Uh oh, 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 not in my house. <laughs> Yes, but anything video game related, and I will leave y'all my num my number. Y'all are more than welcome to call me when y'all get stuff in. I, yeah, I, I will. Do you yeah, have my number still? Yeah. I'll take hey, hey, man. Take these. I'll see y'all later on in the week. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, Ray's always gonna be in the video. Right, the video. Yeah. We're we're on Twitter, YouTube, everywhere. Yeah. 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 So check it out. I bought the as is Xbox One S the black deck for 50 bucks. And it came with a cord, no controllers or anything. And this is why I bought it. They said that it was a return. And that on the return, the customer said that it just kept shutting off. The store said they turned it on and it wouldn't turn on after the first time. Well, I just turned it on and it worked just fine. What I feel like happened is, I bet they changed the, um, they changed the resolution so that it doesn't show the signal correctly. Basically, long story short, I got a system that I feel like if I go home and run it for a little bit, check it out, I should be able to run it, make sure it works good. I got an extra controller, and if everything works out, man, 220 bucks. So, you know, $50 investment, four times it. I'm happy with that. Aiden over here found himself a little 500 gig has a controller which is good wires all that's good stuff and on top of that the dude threw in something else he was gonna buy it ended up being the what was it Aiden the uh, Xbox 360 connect with the uh, little remotes <laughs> <laughs> so little Xbox 360 connect with that is a DVD remote my right, guy yep so that's gonna be another twenty dollars easily so I mean and that system selling for what? One fifty? Actually, about two hundred with everything with it. So definitely uh, almost a double up. So pretty good there. Uh, can't complain. I guess, guys, that's the, the first half of the day. I think we're gonna take a break. Go back to the house. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. We're ready for some lunch. Uh, besides that, though, guys, uh, we'll check out our spoils here in a little bit. Woo!